All right, so this morning we have my ML Forge Forest Axe and my Branton Cochran Allagash Cruiser. The Branton Cochran is so far probably one of my favorite, if not the favorite axe I've ever had. Um, just an absolute beast. The main wedge pattern for chopping is just an absolute tank. And the forest axe from ML Forge is just a little bit different. They're not they're not crazy different, but yeah, they are. Two and a quarter pounds versus three and a third pounds. The profile, you can see why they call it a wedge. Because it is a straight wedge. There's no secondary bevels or anything like that. It's just a a wedge. Big triangle. Steep triangle. And then the ML Forge. Remember, I hung this myself. Not too different, but yet it is. You can see it's not... It's, you know, cut some curves in it as far as the profile goes and the, the main wedge doesn't. It's just a straight triangle. There's, um, sorry about that. There's some lugs here, not with the main wedge. And Branton Cochran, man, do they do a freaking beautiful job. Their handles, everything. I mean, beautiful shoulder here. It's just, it's awesome. Nice stamp. The year it was made. Initial of the person who forged it. Then you got ML Marcus Lepsis, I believe. Lipens. Lipens. I believe I've, I've been pronouncing his name incorrectly. Nobody corrected me, but I had a realization the other day, and now I feel really foolish pronouncing it wrong the whole time I hung this on this handle myself house handles so yeah we're gonna do a little bucking and a little bit of limbing and just have some fun I'm gonna start off with the uh, Allagash Cruiser Uh, one swing, huh? Take a boring video for you guys. Oh, I already caught this one too. of marshmallow stick for the boys.
little big for a marshmallow stick. <laughs> Maybe I just made a spear. I don't know. We'll see. Marshmallow stick. Marshmallows the size of a basket. Yep. That's right, folks. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. You're trying to just make a video for YouTube and you almost lose the tip of your finger. <laughs> How stupid. Ignorant. Arrogant, even. Man, just really, really bad. That being said, I guess I know how to sharpen an axe. Watch, let's watch that footage again. Come on. That's, that's pretty sharp. Forget the fact that I was negligent and just completely, just completely um, self-absorbed. How stupid. Guys, be careful. Think about what you're doing. Pay attention to what you're doing. And, uh, you know, make sure you get home in one piece. And all kidding aside, I mean, you got families, you got loved ones. There's, there's nobody out there in the world that can say that there's not somebody out there that loves them. And, uh, yeah, I just really want you guys to, to, to be careful. Uh, I'm only sharing this video, um, in hopes that there will be somebody else that doesn't take anything for granted as far as safety goes. And I want my sons to know that I'm not perfect. Even though a lot of people think I am. Be careful. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.